You're on vacation in New York, walking across Manhattan, when you come across a 550 foot tall building, completely windowless, standing as tall as your neck can stretch. The building is exactly what it looks like. An apocalypse proof, above ground bunker, intended not only to symbolize, but to guarantee national security. It is often regarded as building that spies. Designed by architect John Carl Warnicke and completed in 1974, it was meant to be a skyscraper inhabited by machines. Its purpose? To withstand anything from atomic blasts to civil unrest. No windows or unprotected openings in its radiation-proof skin can be permitted reads a project brief prepared by Warnicke's office. This massive structure was initially designed as a telephone exchange hub for AT&T, aiming to connect long-distance calls. The building's exterior is plain, with only ventilation hoods visible. These hoods conceal microwave satellite arrays communicating with relay stations and satellites in space. The design wasn't about people needing light or air, but more about making sure machines could breathe. The architects were focused on ventilation, cooling, and protecting the place from atomic blasts. They wanted a 20th century fortress, but instead of spears and arrows, they were thinking about protons and neutrons. November 16th, 2016. The Intercept, a news outlet, revealed that the tower, codenamed Titan Point, was a hub for the National Security Agency, also known as the NSA. The building had a secret role in national security, and this is where it caught people's eye and things got interesting. The whispers about the true purpose of this fortress gained momentum when documents leaked by Edward Snowden hinted at its connection to the NSA. Codenamed Titan Point, it was allegedly designed as a hub for espionage, intercepting phone calls, faxes, and internet data. These code names, like Titan Point, serve like a blanket to sensitive details about companies that are directly working with the NSA to help them in surveillance and spying locations. This type of information falls under the category of exceptionally controlled information, which means beyond top secret. Travel guides from April 2011 and February 2013 unravel the connection between Titan Point and 33 Thomas Street. The 2001 guide specifies Titan Point's New York City location while the 2013 guide identifies Lithium, NSA's codename for AT&T, as the overseeing partner. Situated almost next to the FBI's New York field office, 33 Thomas Street prompts NSA employees traveling to Titan Point to coordinate with the FBI, AT&T, or Lithium, and an FBI site watch officer. For covert visits to the tower, employees are directed to use a cover vehicle arranged through the FBI, especially if transporting equipment, and to avoid wearing NSA badges or insignia to protect their identities. The 2011 guide also mentions that, upon arrival, employees ring the buzzer, sign in, and await assistance. The Intercept's on-site verification found a buzzer and sign-in sheet in the lobby guarded 24-7 with parking bays labeled AWM for federal agencies. Computers inside Titan Point have monitored international communications, including calls, faxes, and internet-based voice calls. It's like a real-life spy headquarters and hence, it was once justifiably called Project X. Initially known as Project X, 
This clandestine tower is 14 blocks north of Wall Street. There have been rumors of a global gateway switch allowing unrestricted access to virtually every call and web communication entering or leaving the United States. According to insiders, the program has been used to eavesdrop on international entities such as the UN, IMF, World Bank, and 38 countries, including pals like Germany, Japan, and France, making it a hub for global surveillance. We've heard whispers about AT&T and the NSA, but the Snowden documents bring the details to light. They reveal just how NSA gadgets are seamlessly woven into AT&T's network, showing us the nuts and bolts of how the agency collects communications from the company's systems. According to Eliza Goitin from the Brennan Center for Justice, this is more evidence that our communication providers are playing a part in the surveillance game. She mentions that NSA might be targeting foreigners, but being deeply embedded in domestic systems suggests that the impact of this kind of surveillance isn't nearly confined to non-Americans only. 1975 Just a year after they finished building 33 Thomas Street, the NSA got caught red-handed in a massive scandal for spying on anti-Vietnam War activists. Senator Frank Church led the charge in 1976, finding that U.S. intelligence agencies had been snooping on people, invading privacy, and trampling on rights. 1978 The NSA came up with a new surveillance program called Blarney, and Blarney is still making waves until 2013. Blarney used commercial partnerships to snag foreign intelligence and global networks, doing full-scale surveillance in six different areas. By 2010, Project Blarney had court orders to spy on everyone, from the International Monetary Fund to U.S. allies like Italy and Japan. Because 33 Thomas Street, or Titan Point, was at the heart of Blarney's action. It was ground zero for monitoring international calls, faxes, and even United Nations missions in New York. The roof of 33 Thomas Street features satellite dishes, the only New York City location where AT&T holds an FCC license for satellite earth stations. Skid Row is a spying program that secretly collects information from the internet, specifically data traveling between satellites in other countries. This gathered data is then stored in a system called XKeyScore, which is similar to Google, but is used by NSA employees to search through massive amounts of information, including emails, chats, Skype calls, passwords, and internet browsing histories of individuals. Today, data and surveillance technology are as good as any currency. It is often said, all new age wars are fought and won in a server room. And if that server room is an apocalypse proof above ground bunker, that country is bound to have an upper hand in every battle. If robots versus men ever become a real thing, 33 Thomas Street, a.k.a. Titan Point, has all the might to be its headquarters. Should we be worried? Only time will tell. Until then, watch your back. Because you are being watched, heard, and observed, even when you don't know. Perhaps someone is watching you watch this video. What actually goes on at this tower might forever remain unexplained.